just about to start a workout and I want to welcome you to the video I'm doing legs and back and biceps today so the split I'm doing is push pull legs so chest triceps is the push and shoulders and back and biceps is the pull and then legs is obviously legs but there was training on last night so I had football training last night and I was absolutely wrecked because I was up at 6 o'clock in the morning and had a full day and then I had training in the evening so I didn't have the energy to do legs yesterday so I'm doing legs today and I'm supersetting my leg workout with pull movements. So I'm guessing this is going to be a fairly long workout. <laughs> So we've got Mike and Mark in the house, so nice one, I got someone to work out with. I'm gonna just take you on a walk through the building. So I'm here outside, this is kind of like a laneway we use for sprints and stuff. I'll take you on a walk through the building. Doing my squats over there. There's Mike, got this new light put in, computer moved out there. Here's the back room. And this window is open as well, and it's so, or this window, this door, it's so nice when this door is open. I hope you kind of heard some of that because the mic is pointing forward, so if I'm standing behind the camera you can't hear it usually, or it doesn't pick it up as well. So here's the back entrance. And like when that back door is open, the gym is totally different. I would love to knock that back wall there, that wall, that white wall. But it kind of serves as a nice divider when we've got teams in at the moment, so. Also this room is a little bit colder than the other room. If we were to knock the wall, the gym itself would be a little bit colder, so we're kind of still deciding on it. I want to give a shout out to United Metals, Dave Hegarty for the tire and the rim, and also to Tire Stop for changing it for me for free. The lads down on Tire Stop in Crossgala slash Eastway Business Park are actually pure sound. <laughs> I am about halfway through this workout and them squats were tough the five sets on 130 my previous four at max is 140 so pretty happy with those five sets considering that I am still running like three four nights a week really hard Hi, right, see you there man so yeah really happy with that so the floodlights are on out the front everyone's kind of got home now because it's like really late on a Friday but I absolutely love the fact that the nights are shorter and the days are longer absolutely love it another recovery lap so just to talk it through my squat and i'll add in some clips here to give a bit of detail on it with your squat you really want to make sure that to get the most out of it you're getting below parallel which is the crease of the hip below the top of the knee what you find with that version of a squat because there's a hundred different ways to squat it has more athletic transfer and basically what that means is by doing full squats you'll be able to run faster jump higher and have stronger lower limbs than if you're only to do a partial squat. And a partial squat would be when the crease of the hip doesn't go below the knee. 90% of people, when they first start in the gym, they don't have enough flexibility to full squat. And usually it's either the ankles, the hip slash knees, or the thoracic spine that limits them. So I'm gonna show you two stretches in particular. No, I'll show you three stretches, three, that will help improve your squat. One is for soleus muscle, which is a deep ankle muscle. One is for your rectus femoris, which is a hip flexor muscle that goes from the hip down past the knee into the shin. And the last one is T-spine wall slides for your thoracic spine to help get your chest up. You don't need as much range of motion to do a front squat as you do a back squat. So some people will find those easier, but you do need a lot more thoracic mobility for a front squat because you want to be able to get your chest up and create a really nice shelf here so that the bar isn't pressing against your throat. Anyone who knows or front squats knows that it can't press against your throat. If you have poor thoracic mobility, your head will be forward like this 
and the bar press against your throat. So good thoracic mobility, much more comfortable front squat. So I'll show you those three. Stay or should I go? Stretch. You want to feel it here. Get the heel in as close as possible. Bend your knee, push your knee in towards the upright, and you want to feel it down here. Hip flexor stretch. You want to feel this up and down the quad. Get your heel and your ass together, push through, you feel a really good stretch here at the foot. T spine wall slides. Feel this. You should feel this in between your shoulder blades, up and down here. With that one, you want to get your elbows and wrists as far back as possible, try and get them to touch the wall. You want to bring your feet out from the wall and you want to press your lower back into the wall. So my feet are locked out, they're out here on the track, I'm not trying to use my legs. I'm pressing my lower back in against the wall, so I'm squeezing my tummy, pressing my lower back in. And then I'm getting my elbows and wrists up here like this, all the way up overhead, all the way down. Press the lower back in, all the way up overhead, all the way down. Just 